Hey, Hershey Free, George Davis here. Just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing. As you can see, I'm at church and it is an empty building. Now the good news is we're starting to have conversations about what it means for us to open things up a bit. And as these conversations are ongoing, I wanted to let you know, we're having staff conversations as well about what it looks like for us to get back in the building and to do it safely. As we get more guidance from the state, we'll be letting you in on those plans as well. Also, please note that uh, once we get back in the building, we're also going to continue our online services because some of you are, are still gonna prefer to be at home at least for a season. A couple of other updates I wanted to give you. Uh, one, I just wanted to uh, thank you for all the help you've been at uh, bringing supplies for the Med Center as we seek to spread hope. Here's some of the supplies you can see on the cart. So thanks for doing that. These people on the front lines of the situation are really under a lot of stress. So however we can be of help to them is really great. The last thing I wanted to mention is this. I don't know about you, but I have been surprised at how frustrating this experience can be. And, and part of my frustration has actually been with myself. Some days I'm frustrated that I don't get much done. Other days I'm frustrated at how short I can be with my own family. Have you felt that? Maybe you're, you know, there, there are others in your apartment or your home, a family members, roommates, and, and you're just tired of being with them 24-7. Do, do you know that feeling? You're ready to vote somebody off the island? And, and I think this, this frustration that we can have with ourselves uh, is one of the reasons why, for us as a church family, it is so important for us to be in Romans chapter 8 right now. We just started the series where we're talking about living in hope. Romans 8 is all about grounding our hope in the gospel, and that's really a message we need to hear. And particularly if you're going through this frustration, let me just remind you of how, um, how Romans 8 begins, that the, you know there is now no condemnation to those of us who are in Christ Jesus. And for some of us, we, we just gotta, we've got to let the message of this passage really sink in. So I want to encourage you to, to be with us as we're going through the series. And, and I really want to encourage you to get into Romans 8 on your own. We've got this memory card that you can use, put it on your fridge, encourage you to, to memorize all the parts of this passage. But just let, let, the, let the challenge of hope in Romans 8 really reconfigure your thinking and how you're engaging this experience. I think it really will make a difference, and I, I look forward to hearing stories of, of what you're learning as we go through this together as a church family. Hey, know that we care about you, know that we are praying for you, and that we are in this together.